Alrighty, welcome back to the Captain Sparkle subreddit, the place you could even say that popularized the humming shark meme, at least within our own community here. So as such, just a little bit of shameless self-promo again for the next week and a half or so, represent.com slash Captain Sparkles for all of your inverted humming shark 2.0 merchandise goodness with and without text, shirts, hats, sweaters, link in the description. Feel free to check it out, collect the full set. How dare you forget the original? You know what I'm gonna do from now on? I had this epiphany. I was like, you know how in French, there are lots and lots of silent letters, like you'd have a word that's 20 letters long, but it sounds like a three letter word. I'm gonna do that with the spellings of my name. I'm gonna just always read it as Jardon. No matter how many letters it has, it's just French and they're silent. How dare you forget the original Jardon. Hightail has birds. Jardonian. God dang it, I broke my own rule. Jardon. I'm glad they have birds. All we got are parrots, Minecraft chickens. Am I joke to you? But do chickens really count? They can't even fly, okay? Like, ah, uh, that's a real stretch right there. I realize we've managed to get this meme fit in like all the last few weeks, but it's it's getting stretched a little bit too, too far. I don't think you can be like, oh, these nice sparrows flying around in the wilderness here are the same as chickens. They're probably more useless because chickens actually, they, they give you food, but otherwise for the ambience, I don't know. Jardon is demonetized. Yeah, okay, all right. I saw this last time in every single comment on last week's video that it said Humming Shark and not Mingo Art. Is it my fault that Mingo Art, the artist of this piece of art, has a lot of the letters of Humming Shark in his name? And that it's very common for artists to sign their name as a signature in their works of art? No. I thought that it would be it, like, cause he already, it's obviously a humming shark, right? It's pretty obviously that, but he might've sneak, snuckily sneaked in his name. I don't think that my reasoning was that far off. It's just that I somehow went with it even when it was like, oh, these are M Mingo Arc? Huh, that doesn't, that's not, maybe I'm just not seeing the T properly. That's probably it. I get it. He wrote humming shark in the arts. I've realized this now, I am dumb. I feel like this is accurate. Me? Cook? I only have a kitchen because it came with the house. You're not wrong. Yeah. Although I will say, I used the microwave the other night. I don't even like to have to do that. But the kind folks at MC Pro Hosting, this isn't like another sponsored plug, but basically we were supposed to have dinner because they were out in LA. And I was like, dude, I'm, I just, I'm so sick right now because we had it scheduled before I got sick. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I don't think we can do dinner. And, uh, and they, they sent me a box of soup. It was very kind. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. And so I had to use the microwave to heat up the soup. And uh, along with the soup came some cookies too. They're pretty good cookies. They're all gone now. Jardon requested, I delivered. There we go. There we have the forking shorts. <laughs> You're like the kitchen version of Batman, basically. You just need to like have it so all the forks are very easily removable so probably so that the prongs are all dangerously sticking towards you but that'll make it easier for you to pull it out of the belt otherwise if the prongs are below the level of the tape then it's gonna like rip off the tape when you try to pull the prongs up through it so yeah prongs all sticking up towards you you can have your utility belt or utility belts on each leg utility garters and then you just boom you're just ready to go when the bad guys are around. These are the forking shorts we needed. All right, forking shorts merch confirmed. I haven't actually confirmed it with anyone who makes the merch, but we'll have to do it at some point. Firefox confirmed Team Ionite. Is this really? I'm Team Ionite personally. Wait, are you Team Old Gods or Team New Gods? Let me know. I don't know what that means, but anyway, same to be honest. Wow. Wow, this is this is big news, everybody. Team Myonite is is down a person, and Team Ionite is up a person. It's too bad that there will never be a season three, because otherwise the Ionite following would have grown. It will never see the light of day now. James has betrayed Jardon. With arachnophobia being irrationally afraid of these harmless little guys. No, 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 you're wrong. You're wrong. It's not irrational. And I think the fact that arachnophobia is considered a phobia is also wrong. It's, a phobia implies that it's an irrational fear. It's just called being reasonably afraid of spiders because some of them can really 
hurt you with their venom and also are just horrifying. And even if they don't have venom, they can still bite you and that can hurt. And some of them will try to sneak into your car, which I still don't know if it's real or not. The one in Australia trying to get into the white car. Um, so, and the fact that there are huntsman spiders that are simply this big, they exist in the world. No, that's, James, I would, I would like to see you wake up with a huntsman spider crawling on you and be like, oh, look at that, that's so cute. Oh, it's, oh, look at that. All right, let's just, I'll just grab it really quick in my hand and I'll just take it outside. I really, I wanna see that. Mm -hmm. I do, you wouldn't, you won't. I'll hire a, a, a spider expert to, at a random time that you won't know what night it's gonna happen. You'll have, he will have permission to sneak into your house and wake you up with a huntsman spider on your face. You wouldn't like that. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Just gonna leave this here. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. And the same picture. Did I did I miss where the Nick and Napa meme is coming from here? Was Is there a video where in the past there's something where Nick was compared to Napa? Nick, do you have any idea what's going on here? Because I don't. I don't at all. I'm confused. But anyway, at least, you know, we like The Office. Minecraft always gets it. Woo, Reddit. Me 0.01 seconds after waking up. Was this cross posted from another subreddit? Because it looks like it might be. Yeah, dude. I knew about Reddit even before it was cool on the Minecraft launcher. Just so you know. Wob. It's a great idea. You should actually, and they, God, why haven't they done this before? If I was in charge of items in the game, I absolutely would have instituted a wob that you can take out and it's a, a completely useless, worthless item. But if you put in the string and sticks that way, then you'll get a wob. And it's like, ah, oh, shoot, I made a wob instead of a bow. Also, who makes it that way, okay? No, the sticks go over here and the string goes over there. Who makes the bow facing in the, in the left direction? Who does, nobody does that. Nobody, this is stage left. For those of you watching confused, no, nobody does. It's always facing that way, which is that way where I was pointing for you watching this video because it's mirrored, but it's that way for me. No, it's a bad cursed image. Jarred on an ultra modded revival. <laughs> this is well done. <laughs> no, you know what? Impressive Photoshop work here, bravo. You've done, you've done good. Did you make this yourself or did somebody else? Cause it's, you should be proud of yourself for it. It's out. Yeah, yeah you, you've done good work here. Very good work. <laughs> when, Jard, when Jardon doesn't have enough self-promotion in a vid, he finds a way. Hey, what's up guys? Cool video here, isn't it? Well, okay. So here, oh my God, dude, let me talk, let me talk to you about the Reddit reaction video last week. All right, let me tell you about it. In that video, we were talking about people doing self-promotion in YouTube comments and being like, wow, thanks guys for all these likes. Also check out my channel and subscribe. I also like the videos that I'm watching here on this person's channel, but check out mine as well. You will you should subscribe. Can we be the first person to get to 100,000 subscribers with no videos on our channel? It'll be great. And then I'll make content after, I promise, I promise, I promise. Anyway, I was like, I'll leave a comment like that on my own video. And then I did, and then it got removed. I don't know, by YouTube, people flagged it as spam or something like that. Got a bunch of, it got like a couple thousand likes on it. And then it was like, no, it's, 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 it's booted. It's gone. So I tried to self promote a little bit more, um, but it, it got taken away. And then I made another comment after I noticed that the first comment got taken down. And I don't know if that's been taken down yet, but it didn't have as, as much of an impact the second time around. And I'm upset about it, quite frankly, because people in the comment section, they can get away with it with promoting their channels. But I, as the uploader of the video, get flagged as spam for doing it myself. This cannot stand. Cutie pie. Cherry pie, apple pie, pumpkin pie, cutie pie. I was kind of hoping that it would just be an image of me. I, I know when I'm outclassed and I am outclassed by Minecraft pink version of me. So that's fair, that's fair. I am actually gonna be be doing uh, like kind of fitnessy sort of photo shoot today actually. So apparently I, what I should just do though, instead of that is um, wear a blocky costume and put a pink dress on it and it'll just be far more attractive. I've messed up. 
Jardan didn't get any special introduction or a reward, despite having twice or three times as many wins as everyone else. Wow, you picked a, a still frame of me where I don't look like an idiot. Thank you. That's amazing. That's, oh, re that's really what the thing is about this post, is it's an anomaly. <laughs> I appreciate that. This was in, um, if you're confused on the context of this, the recent champions round of Try Not To Laugh challenges over on the, the Fine Bros React channel. So um, pretty much I never laugh, except for that one time with the bug video on this channel, but don't worry about that. We can erase that from our memories. Over on that channel, I have never cracked in a Try Not To Laugh challenge, and I am the ultimate winner. All I need is the own knowledge that I'm the champion. I don't need any special introductions or rewards, okay? I'm glad that you think I deserve it, I really am, but I have the knowledge in here that I am the best, the champion, at Try Not To Laugh challenges, even though there were a bunch of others in that video. I didn't realize there were so many people who also hadn't laughed at any videos, there were a lot of them. Yeah, I wasn't nearly as special as I thought. Dragonheart still doesn't have lyrics after two years. Oh, I mean, hey, soon is all relative. I mean, even even a thousand years is soon on a an entire time scale of of the history of the universe so you know soon could have sworn i added those at some point uh but thanks for pointing that out i, sh I should add that to my to-do list actually I, I do have a to-do list where when i put things on that to-do list generally it gets done unless it's home ownership related things in which case it doesn't still get done so but the to-do list works for most things on the internet at least Sorry for the groom meme, but this is all I could think of for the past few days. Get sick a week before meeting Jordan. Oh, this is buggy. Recover a few days before and assume you're no longer contagious. Jordan gets sick just days after meeting you. Jordan gets sick just days after meeting you. I think Zine showed me this one uh, the other day. I don't really think it's your fault, especially if you'd gotten over your cold, then According to everything I've ever heard from people who are definitely qualified to comment on the matter, you're not really contagious like long into after displaying symptoms. And also that was like a long incubation. It's like four days after that or something, I started feeling sick. And also I go to the gym where God knows how much gunk is on those barbells and stuff like that. So pretty, pretty low down on the list of likelihood for getting me sick, but I suppose a bit of a coincidence. It's okay though. I, I forgive you even if it was the cause, but I doubt. It was, so probably all good. I remember noticing this one a long time ago. Grass. Wait, that's illegal. I suppose you, you can't really have that on um, on the on the stone, can you? That's true, but you only noticed it in my top 10 Minecraft songs re-upload of the video. You hadn't noticed it in the original. Yeah, it's okay. Fortunately, when it comes to 3D animation software, it doesn't really pay attention to what's legal and what's not. You can kind of just place things where they go. But have you noticed the old cobblestone texture? That's pretty, that's different looking, isn't it, huh? Ah, God, that old cobblestone, that is a, that's a harsh, contrasty texture right there. How many more iterations have we gone through since then? Two? The one that was for a long time after that, and then I guess we've now got like the new newest version in 1.14. It's okay, dude. I make life happen where it otherwise wouldn't. Not sure if this has been posted. Me and my Minecraft house, my 10 plus tamed wolves. This is basically in the Captain Sparkles 2 series, the From Ashes Reborn, complete the monument map. If you're not aware of it and you like Minecraft, there's a lot of Minecraft going up over there that isn't going up on this channel. Feel free to check it out. I actually have been having fun with that series. First complete the monument map I've done, so maybe it's because it's something new for me, but I think it's been fun. Feel free to check it out. We have a lot of dogs in our house because there's a spawner and they keep spawning in the house and there are a lot of dogs in there. It's This is not actually enough to be representative of what's going on in there. Of course, you'd have to go watch the series if you wanted to find that out. Check it out. I made this back during the Photoshop contest, but since prequel memes are big, here's a shot. Here's shot two on top 19. Did this not make it into the top 19 back in the Photoshop contest? God, we're overdue for another one of those, aren't we? Wow. Well, hey, shot two got to number two on top 19. Congratulations. Bravo. It's always great when you can reuse content and the context now makes it completely relevant. Although this is the only prequel meme that's happened so far this week. What's up with that? Where I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't be like, where are all the prequel memes? Because then next week is going to be like, I don't understand anything that's happening here. So anyway. 
This one's great at least. I understand electric zappy Emperor Palpatine fingers. I at least can get that reference, okay? I'm not a completely uncultured swine. I know that Emperor Palpatine zaps people with his zappy fingers. It's very powerful at attack. It's like Hyper Beam. If Hyper Beam didn't have to recharge between turns, that would be Emperor Palpatine's zappy fingers. Or it's like a Z, Z power move, which is new in the Pokemon Pixelmon series and stuff like that. So, God, that is that is a, it's a great use. I'll give it to you. Quality quality content right there. And you really you lined it up with every finger too. Like really well done lightning effects, and then merged it great with the original lightning zappy fingers. Art above 19 versus art below 19. <laughs> I, how did I, I knew it, I knew it. Last week, I was like, yeah, I bet the art below 19 is like real great, whereas we get this stuff, poorly rotoscoped and paint doodles that are above top 19. And, and lo and behold, this is Genestator for sure. I recognize the art style. And then we've got some kind of like Halloween edit on a selfie of mine that looks pretty sweet, but nope. Those aren't qualified. It's gotta be, it's gotta be derpy memes that make it into the top 19. I'm sorry, Genestator and whoever made this one. I'm terribly sorry that <laughs> apparently low budget wins out here on this subreddit. I didn't intend to foster this environment. I don't know how it happened. I feel like it's a, a parent growing up and being like, how did my child end up doing this? I thought I did things well growing up. <laughs> I thought I raised him differently than smearing poop over over the bathroom, but yeah. All right, I'll talk. I'll talk to him. Don't don't worry, teacher. We'll have a we'll have a talking to here. We'll, we'll uh, try to get them to see the value in in quality artwork. <laughs> I can't make any promises though. Poop may end up smeared on the bathroom again. There's a chance. Not that you would. You wouldn't though. You specifically wouldn't smear poop on the bathroom. You're better than that. I know. All right. Well, anyway. That's, that's it for the last uh, week on the Captain Sparkle subreddit. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked. If you liked, make sure to go to represent.com slash Captain Sparkles. Pick yourself up some inverted humming shark merch and subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you next time.